check in progress here at the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame and Museum. The Alan Freed Radio Studio. It's Rocco and it's Michael Fitzpatrick, otherwise known as Fitz, with Joseph, the bass player. The that, one and that only is true. Player. Well, Fitz in the tank. <laughs> Coming at you live. We're doing radio now. That's right. I get my radio. <laughs> Welcome back. Thanks. It's a little bit uh, warmer than the last time we were hanging. Uh, it, you are correct, sir. Uh, I can't remember. All I know is there was snow on the ground. It was the beginning of your tour. And it was the beginning of Snowpocalypse 2010. Which we literally were driving in front and behind and around for a whole month. It was crazy. Avoiding. I know. And, and yeah. you guys from Southern California, I'm sure. A bunch of wussies. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I got to say, congratulations. You're making noise out there. Thank you, man. Well, you know, that, that tour, when we came out and, and saw you, that was really the, uh, the, the, the tipping point for us, you know, we just, uh, I don't think any of us have worked quite that hard. We were doing three, four shows a day, radio station, radio station, in-store, at a record store, show that night, meet and greet after, you know, we Work it. say hello to everybody after every single show, we're big believers in that, and, uh, it's definitely been paying off. We're, uh, actually, today's kind of a big day for us, we're, uh, at our highest position. Congrats. So it's a big day for us. Well, as well, well deserved. Uh, V1073, big fans of the band, I might add. And uh, in well, Cleveland you know, as well. Yeah, well, you know, Ohio has been so, so kind to us. This is our second time in Cleveland. We've been to Columbus a couple times. We've mm -hmm. been to Dayton. We, Cincinnati, you know, Ohio is really taking us with open arms and uh, been a huge part of the story of our success. So. That's cool. I, well, it's, you know, it's a knowledgeable music state. The yeah, most, I might yeah, add. Lovers. Home of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame Museum. Oh, that's right. And actually, Facebook, uh, a little earlier today, we heard from folks who were headed up from Columbus for tonight's show. Yeah, and I right. just said hello to a, a gaggle of pretty girls coming in to uh, pretend <laughs> to go down to Columbus. So I'm not mad at that. Do you have a problem uh, with the pretty girls following you around, Fitz, huh? If that's a problem, I mean, you know, then I can care. <laughs> Joseph, what's it like? Uh, I mean, you guys together have uh, essentially made your mark now, and uh, it's, there's no looking back. you got to go forward here. Well, this here is the wildest ride in the wilderness, i got to tell you. But seriously, it's, it's, uh, it's been an amazing experience, you know, getting to meet all these great people all over the country and uh, occasionally the world when we, uh, when we got the opportunity to go over there. And, um, yeah. You know, never experienced anything quite like this Do you in, like in my career. So, it, and I don't think anyone in the band has either. So, it's been we've been very grateful. Well, the whole the the band was kind of you know divine intervention. The way you guys all came together and you know said you gigged at one time five minutes and you knew you were a band. Yeah, right? you know, I mean, sometimes Synergy. you get the right pairing of people. You know, and, uh, it's not always that case. It takes a long time sometimes to find the right people. But this was literally like uh, you know meant to be. Rehearsal. It, and it's still going. Let's do the yeah. title track and pick it up to pieces right now. Love it. V. Picking up the pieces. Wow, do the DJ thing. 